Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be comparing the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palettes and the Sweet Peach Palettes. Basically, they're like three or four, sorry, uh, four most popular palettes. And I did a video similar to this all about the Urban Decay and Naked Palettes, and you guys love that video, so I thought, hey, we should do another one for Too Faced because these are also super, super popular. And they're all pretty similar, like the Naked Palettes, but they have their specific differences. And sometimes it can be a little overwhelming to decide which one is best for you and which one you get the most use out of. And I also have some of their smaller palettes, but I thought, you know, we gotta keep it within the family. So, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so I know, and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll just get into it. Alright, so the palettes we're talking about today are the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar, the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons, and then the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. And I really do enjoy all of these. I think the quality is awesome. I think these are the best quality shadows that Too Faced makes, with the exception of their like mini palettes. I feel like they're the same quality as these. These are just a little bit more expensive, but you do get a lot more product. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like with a lot of their limited edition stuff, especially around the holidays, the quality just isn't the same, so I think, you know, it's best to go with these. So let's just get started with talking about the original, the OG, Chocolate Bar Palette. Now, I love this palette. I think this palette is awesome. It's very comparable to the original Urban K Naked Palette, but I feel like this one has more colors and it's a little bit more interesting without being, like, wild and crazy. So this palette does come with 6 matte shadows and 10 shimmer shadows, so 16 shadows total, which I think is awesome. So you are getting more shadows with the chocolate bar palettes versus the naked palettes from Urban Decay. And I really love the colors in this one in particular just because they're like warm without being too like red or anything, but there are also still a few cool tone options over here, and you can do a nice everyday look, you can smoke it out, you can add some pops of color, and then it also comes with your essentials, your good highlighting shades, which you get a lot of, obviously, those are the biggest shades in the pan, and then you do also get some nice crease shades, blending shades, and overall, I do think this is a good palette, it's a good staple in anybody's collection, and I don't think you'd really go wrong with it. Now moving on to the second palette in the collection, this semi-sweet. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now and I think it's my personal favorite especially for fall because the colors in here are just a little bit warmer than in the original chocolate bar palette if you can kind of tell the difference there. So this palette comes with seven matte shades and nine shimmer shades but again totally 16 and the quality is there. Nothing super glittery but with the exception of pink sugar that one has a little bit more glitter than the rest but I love these colors for fall. You can do a really nice like natural um, kind of bronzy kind of peanut buttery look or you can do something like I did today and make it a little bit more smoky and the shadow quality is there. They're super easy to blend. I mean, honestly, the shadow quality is the same for all four palettes. They're all really good, really blendable. They're not too pigmented where they're hard to work with, but they're pigmented enough to be like, that's a good shadow, you know what I mean? And I really love the pop of blue in this palette. I feel like it really does kind of add something to it, but the tone, like, goes with everything, and it doesn't feel like it's out of place. It kind of feels like it belongs. And I really love Hot Fudge up here because it kind of has, like, a navy thing going on. It's what I used in the outer corner today. Again, like, the original Chocolate Bar palette does come with good base. Basics. It comes with good highlighting shades, some good crease shades, good blending shades, and then it comes with some pretty bronzy shades and some pretty taupey shades. It's a good mix of cool and warm. And yeah, I think this one's my favorite out of all four. Now the next palette is the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons. And honestly, I just got this. It was actually my mom's, and I knew I wanted to do this video, but I didn't want to buy a whole new palette. I was pretty confident she didn't really use this as much anymore just because she has like other eyeshadows. So I asked if I could have it, and she said yes, so that was nice. Thank you, mom, for making this video happen. Um, but I would have to say this is probably my least favorite out of the four. Number one, the packaging drives me nuts. I don't know if this happens to anybody else else's but uh, these three eyeshadows always fall out luckily they're magnetic so it's not a big deal and I can always just glue them back I just lost one um, but they just always fall out they're not secure at all and it kind of drives me insane so let me fix that real quick okay so now that the shades are back where they're supposed to be this is what it looks like it looks a little different than the previous chocolate bar palettes they're in little hearts which i think is very cute and sweet and the color scheme of this palette is way different than both of the chocolate bar ones because it is way more cool tone 
Here's a comparison to the original, and I think you can really tell how much cooler this one is compared to the OG. Um, but, I mean, if you like Cool Tone Shadows, I think you would like this. And I'm going to predict it right now. I do think Cool Tone Shadows are going to be in this time next year, just because I feel like so many people are starting to get kind of over the warm tone looks. But anyways, that's just my prediction. I don't really use the pops of pink because that's just, like, not really my style. Um, but I really love, like, what's going on over here with these kind of burgundy shades. And there's a lot of good cool tone, like, crease shades in here. So I do like it, but I don't know, I personally prefer warm tone shadows. I feel like it makes my eyes pop a little bit more. And out of all the palettes, this one is just my personal least favorite. Okay, and the final palette in this little family collection is the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Now this isn't necessarily like chocolate bar, obviously, but it does have the same packaging, the same almost layout. And I figured if you were going to Ulta or Sephora and you were looking at all of these palettes trying to decide which one to get, this one would also be in the running and like which one do I buy. So the Sweet Peach palette, this was such a big like success for Too Faced. I remember when they first came out with it, they like went out of stock and they never restocked it for like a year, but now it's permanent, which is good. This one smells like peaches, the other one smelled like chocolate. Sorry, I forgot to mention that, but the smell definitely dissipates over time. And this is what the Sweet Peach looks like on the inside. And it is very unique. I really like the selection of colors because I mean, you can even, again, compare it to the original. This one just has way more color to it versus this one that's a little bit more dull. I want to say it's still pretty warm, but there's definitely some cool tones in here. But I love this palette too. It's probably my second favorite after the Semi Sweet, just because of the unique color selection. I will say the smell isn't my favorite, but it's like dissipated considerably since I first got it. Now you may be looking at this palette thinking there's really not that much peach in here, and I know that was a big complaint when this first launched and then relaunched, but they did just come out with a new like peach matte palette. I'm blanking on the actual name. I have that. It's somewhere in here. Um, and that one's really good, and that one's really, really peachy. So if you like had that and had this... You're done, you're good, you're solid for all the peach looks. But again, if you like color, I think you'd really like this palette. Alright, so those are my thoughts on the individual palettes. Now let's answer the ultimate question of which palette do I choose? Because, you know, you have a lot of good options here. Now, you're not going to go wrong with any of them, I'll be honest. They're all good quality, good color selection. You can make something wearable, you can make something a little bit more dairy. You can really do whatever you want with all the palettes. But personally... My favorite, I gotta say, is the Semi Sweet, just because I love these colors. I love something a little warmer. I love how these are a little bit more unique than the original Chocolate Bar palette, and I really love this blue. It's really, really fun. So if you are just shopping, like, for the holidays or something, for a friend, or for a niece, or for a daughter, then I would go with the Semi Sweet personally, just because I feel like it's unique enough, but you can still make something wearable, and you can do something a little bit more daring, do something a little bit more every day, and it's very versatile in that way. So I've got to say Semi Sweet is my favorite. Now of course the original chocolate bar you can't go wrong, but the colors are a little bit darker compared to the Semi Sweet, so you might not get as much like everyday use out of it compared to the second one. But don't get me wrong, you definitely can, but there's a lot more darker shades in here than in this one. So just kind of things to consider, but if maybe you're somebody who is a little bit older and you like doing a little bit of a darker look or you like going out and all that good stuff, this one is also a good option. Now if you do not like warm tone shadows, do not get the Semi Sweet because that one is very, very warm. Also the peach palette is very warm so you might not want that. Most likely you gravitate towards the cool shadows so I would go with the Bon Bons because every shade in here is cool. They're very, very good quality. Let me know in the comments down below if yours like get loose like this. Honestly, it's an easy fix. You can just glue it back together, but it is kind of annoying, not gonna lie. But if you don't find yourself using cool tone shadows, you do not need this in your collection. Now lastly, for the Sweet Peach palette, I think this is the palette for you if you like color. If you like trying something new and incorporating different shades. Now this isn't obviously the most like colorful, crazy, unique shadow palette in the entire world, but with this palette you can do an everyday look with a pop of color and make it look really, really good. But at the same time you're still able to get an everyday look, a night look. I don't know, I feel like this 
is probably the most versatile palette out of all of them. So if you're like a true makeup lover and you don't already have this, this would be something I think you would really enjoy. Okay, y'all, so that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys liked it and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any more questions or if you have any questions about like your eye color and hair color and all that specifically and what palette would work best for you. I could help you out. And if there's any other palettes you want me to review and compare in the same way, let me know. I can do maybe like the Lorac Pro palettes. That could be kind of cool. Um, but yeah, that is everything for today's video, and I will see you guys next time.